Hi, this is Dave Nadler with the National Weather Service in Peachtree City. This is the weekly weather briefing on Thursday, December 17th, 2015. This is the uh, current weather setup for Thursday. We are looking at uh, an area of low pressure that's tracking across North Georgia, moving to the northeast toward the Carolinas. Much of the heavy rain that occurred overnight uh, is pushed into the Carolinas. However, we are looking at a cold front that's stretching back into South Alabama from North Georgia that will be moving east across the state this afternoon into this evening. You can see dew points are well into the 60s to even lower 70s across extreme South Georgia. And it's in this area ahead of the front where we expect the elevated threat for strong to isolated severe weather to occur with damaging winds being the primary severe weather threat. The flood threat that we had overnight into the early morning hours has diminished across north and central Georgia as the large area of heavier rainfall that we experienced overnight has pushed east northeast into the Carolinas at this time. Here's a rainfall map from the past 12 to 18 hours that has occurred across Georgia. You can see a, a, a big area of one to three inches of rainfall between uh, Columbus and up towards Athens on either side of that line had occurred overnight through the morning hours on Thursday. Uh, we had seen pockets of three plus inches in spots. Um, what this has done has just primed the pump for any additional rainfall that we are going to receive into next week uh, with the grounds being saturated so any additional rainfall and runoff is just going to uh, exacerbate any flood threat that we have moving into next week. Um, at this time though the flooding concerns have been minimalized and uh, the flood watch that we had in effect for areas along in north of I-85 has been canceled at this time so we are not expecting any uh, major additional rainfall just pockets of heavier rain uh, mainly south of I-20 and uh, along and east of I-75 through the afternoon hours um, but as far as widespread flood issues we're not expecting them for the rest of today into this evening. The weekend looks great uh, behind this cold front moving through this afternoon um, Temperatures will certainly drop off, and but it will be drier uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday with temperatures returning to near normal for the first time in nearly 10 days with uh, high temperatures expected to be generally in the 50s across north and central Georgia. Overnight lows are going to be cold. Sub-freezing temperatures in the mid to upper 20s to lower 30s are expected. Um, so we will get back into winter, but for mid to late December, that's about where we should be uh, across north and central Georgia. So temperatures will try to rebound a little bit on Sunday and, and rebound even more into Monday ahead of the next uh, storm system that we're expecting to impact uh, the southeast region. Looking ahead into next week and uh, for Christmas Day uh, by the end of the week, uh, unfortunately uh, rain is going to return to the area sometime late Monday into Tuesday with uh, periods of heavy rain possible Tuesday and Wednesday as a very persistent uh, and deep southwest flow continues to transport uh, subtropical moisture across the area with embedded low pressure systems just riding within that flow. Uh, so into the early to middle part of next week, we with the additional rainfall, uh, we are expecting an elevated flood threat. At this time, the severe threat remains rather low, um, but that we can't rule out the uh, certainly the possibility um, from for some isolated strong to severe thunderstorms given the. Um, return to unseasonably warm temperatures and, and very moist, uh, unstable conditions across the area. By the end of the week, um, some models are showing a, a drying trend with warm, continued warm temperatures, and a couple of models are showing a, a persistent unsettled pattern that would keep rain and thunderstorms um, across the area Thursday into Christmas Day next week. Uh, we'll have to watch that over the next few days and we'll certainly fine-tune the forecast but it does look rather unsettled for next week with temperatures um, rebounding after this weekend's cold front. Uh, temperatures will warm back to running anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees above normal uh, for this time of year which again is uh, is nice, uh, but unfortunately, uh, with those warmer temperatures, uh, we increase the risk of thunderstorms and potentially severe weather um, this time of year. So we'll keep an eye on that, but uh, it does remain, uh, it does look like it will be unsettled for next week. 
So just to put everything in perspective, a summary again for today, Thursday, uh, look for showers uh, to gradually end west to east. Uh, a few thunderstorms are going to be possible, um, and some of them could be strong with uh, some strong wind gusts, uh, mainly south of I-20 uh, and east of I-85, I-75 corridor. Um, isolated flood threat, um, still a possibility in areas that get uh, a pretty decent amount of rainfall within about a one to two hour time span. However, after the cold front moves through the area tonight, uh, we are looking at drier and much cooler conditions uh, through this weekend with temperatures returning to uh, around normal for this time of year with t high temperatures generally in the 50s. Lows overnight, uh, Friday night and Saturday night will be uh, sub-freezing in some areas, uh, most areas I should say, with temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s, generally speaking, clear skies. So look for frosty mornings, uh, both uh, Saturday and Sunday morning. And then conditions uh, into next week, rain returns uh, by late Monday with periods of heavy rain possible Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures will warm up uh, back to what we've been seeing with uh, above normal temperatures running 10 to 20 degrees above normal. Highs uh, in the 60s to lower 70s with overnight lows in the 50s to lower 60s, uh, which again is, is much above normal for mid to late December. So that is a uh, quick look at what we're expecting uh, over the next six to seven days across north and central, central Georgia. Hope everyone has a wonderful day and week ahead.